this one. When you're solving word problems that deal with inverse variation, inverse variation in general is the one that says that y equals a constant over x. But this means that x times y must be a constant. So we're just going to look at products and see what we can get to, to match up in, this, in problems like this. So we have acceleration and mass as invertly or inversely varying. So that means we're going to be looking for some kind of acceleration multiplied by mass. So we have a force acting on a mass of 2 kilograms and it's accelerating it by 12. And then we have the same force being applied to a different object and it accelerated by 6. So the acceleration is 6. What is the mass of this new object? So notice that 12 times 2 is 24. 6 and the unknown mass of m and so divide both sides by 6, and it means that the mass of that object must have been 4. And 12 times 2 is 24. 6 times what is 24? That must be the number 4. So the fact that the product is held constant makes it simple for us to be able to figure out the missing number. So why don't you try this one on your own? Pause the video and see if you can figure out the solution to this problem. It says the volume of a gas varies inversely with the pressure it is under. So we have volume varying inversely with pressure. So we're going to look at the product of volume and pressure. Volume of 3 liters happens to have a pressure of 125 kilopascals. What would the pressure be? The pressure is the unknown for a volume of 5. And there's my pressure that's unknown. So 3 times 125 is 375 equals 5p. Then we will divide both sides by 5 to get the number 75. And so what was the pressure on that second situation? Turns out the pressure must have been 75 kilopascals because 75 is what you have to multiply against 5 to give you the same constant product of 375.